22-year-old Davis, California police officer Natalie Corona was very tragically shot to death a week ago while in her patrol car. But a student group at the University of California, Davis, seemed more preoccupied by a Blue Lives Matter flag with which Natalie posed a couple years back, taking the opportunity to call it an emblem of white supremacy. Let's take a look. The University of California, Davis has a student group called the Ethnic and Cultural Affairs Commission, which, as you might expect, appears to be a hive mind of social justice. In a recent Facebook post, the group spared a whole sentence to offer condolences to slain police officer Natalie Corona's family. But the students then went on to bash a Blue Lives Matter flag Natalie said she'd carried to show appreciation for current officers, as well as those who have died during their service. The group said, flashing lights, sirens, and increased police presence can be triggering to many black and brown people. Why are we capitalizing those as though there's some nation called black or brown? They continue saying the Blue Lives Matter flag represents an attempt by law enforcement to undermine the Black Lives Matter movement. This was done in an effort to evade accountability and critical awareness of police treatment of communities of color. Wow, that's quite the presumption. You do know that in these encounters between police officers and suspects, officers are often the victims too, right? And while many suspects are shot, they don't have the legal right to use lethal force on officers trying to arrest them, whereas officers can use lethal force if their lives are in danger. The Ethnic and Cultural Affairs Commission goes on, saying that the alt-right has used the Blue Lives Matter flag and that it's frequently been spotted alongside the Confederate flag, which of course left-wing activists have tried to smear as racist for a pretty long time. The commission says to decontextualize the flag, would be an erasure of its symbolism of political repression and white supremacy. The flag is blatantly anti-black and disrespectful. You know, some might argue you are being disrespectful. This isn't a black and white world, no pun intended, in which you're either pro-Black Lives Matter or a white supremacist. It's like the activists who deride All Lives Matter. You do know that more whites are killed by police than blacks, right? Sure, there's a difference in proportions, but that's due to class, not race. Poorer people commit more crime. Anyways, the UC Davis student president denounced the student group's post, and the student group hashtag deleted their account. The college Republicans chair said that anti-cop rhetoric is commonplace on campus, and I wouldn't be shocked. Here at Campus Unmasked, we've reported on Brooklyn College suggesting that cops use a dilapidated campus bathroom with no soap and broken sinks, as well as a former New York Antifa professor who tweeted dead cops are good and burn a police station, Philly. Being on the side of the law isn't likely to win you a whole lot of fans in the ivory tower these days, folks. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.